check out the colours. How bloody cool is that? I feel the heat coming off it right now. Put it in there like that. Oh yeah man, that sand's even hot. <laughs> check that out. You have no idea. Well, Rotorua hasn't been happening. Uh, I've had a bit of rain lately, rivers are all blown out, it's all turned to shit, so. So I had a chat this morning with Johan from Crazy About Fly Fishing, and uh, he's recommended that since all the rivers are blown out, I should go fish this little gym. Looking good, looking real good. So it's a little spring creek, not big fish, but lots of fish, so gonna go the Euro setup. And yeah, hopefully we find some fish because yeah, two days for one fish in the Rotorua is not really ideal, but then again, I did pick a real shit weekend to come down. So stay with us. Let's see if we can nail a few. And if I do get a nice one, I reckon I might take it to a hot spring and uh, dig a little hole, cook it in the sand, let all the uh, geothermal activity cook the fish. So fingers crossed, finally found some water worth fishing. How bloody good does that look? How you doing? You didn't see anything. <laughs> Just tangles. <laughs> Check out this little plunge pool. <laughs> I've got to put a fly in there. That's so cool. All right, guys, stay with us. I'm going to go catch some fish. You're a nymph star. Got one. On the Euro. <laughs> that was fun. That was a heap of fun. Only small fish. Beautiful. Swamp chicken. Okay, cool. Probably can't see him. There's a trout just sitting out in the current here. I'm just going to try and get uh, close enough to flick past him. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that was terrible. No back cast at all here. That's it. That's it. Yep, there we go. Got him. Oh, wow, they really use that current over there, bro. It's only a little fish, but go hard. And I actually forgot my net, so just head out of the water if I can. Oh, beautiful. Put him back and I'll answer my phone. Hey look, found some turkeys. <laughs> How funny is that? And a nice trout just sitting up there. I'm gonna try and get him. Just set this fella up in the tree. 
that I'll have to do. Sorry, guys. That's better. Yep, there we go. <laughs> this could be interesting. It's a better sort of fish too. I'll leave them there, get all worn out. Oh, it's a good fish. Beautiful. Here we go guys. Nice little rando. It is keen to go. See, something I've realized when you're, you're filming up these rivers is a lot of the time, you guys can't see what I see. You know, there's too much glare on the water. So, with that being said, this is what it looks like. These spotters are so good. Just takes all that glare straight off. Look at from that to that. Pretty much just got to my first pool. I was here the other day, there's a couple of decent trout that are sitting down there and I couldn't couldn't persuade them. However, I've just rocked up now and I've seen a couple out on here, so I reckon we're in for a good shot. That'll be better. That'll be better. Yep, 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 got one. Got one. All right, get him on the reel. There we go. I'm just going to take him down here a little bit so I don't disturb the ones I'm trying to catch. I managed to catch him, he'll be a good snack size. He'll be a good snack size. Let's get your head up. Let's get your head up and get you in the net. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, perfect 35 centimeter trout. That will be our lunch later, guys. Beautiful. All right, so we're back at camp. Um, two things I gotta do. First up, just gonna prepare this trout here. Gonna do some, cook some trout up, make some fish wraps. I'm gonna use the other fillet and I'll put it in here. I'm gonna put some things with it, some green stuff a few tomatoes etc and wrap that up in a nice little pouch and that's what we're going to use to bury in the sand and use the steam and everything in the ground to actually cook the fish so I'm not 100% sure whether it will work but I'm going to give it a give it a good go um, but in the meantime I'm starving so I gotta have some lunch check out the colors oh it's just gonna taste so good yeah always good when you get them that sort of color these guys have been feeding on crust crustaceans and um, Kura by the looks of it, so yeah, gonna be really tasty. The reason I got the tin foil is it's a real shit pan and basically everything sticks to it, so I'm just gonna cook it like that. And I'm gonna prep this baby up here, put some tomatoes, bit of um, spring onion, that sort of stuff, get that wrapped up in a nice pouch. Get some lemon papa. Let the wind blow it all the way. Right, and the idea is, is I'll wrap all this up into like a nice little pouch. I'll probably double wrap it, I reckon. And um, I may even put it inside a plastic bag because I don't want any of that water getting into it. The steam's all good, but um, yeah, don't want the water. So that's the plan. So let's wrap it up. And like I said, I'll double wrap it. You know, it's a bit like what some of you guys probably do when uh, with a few of those gills, you don't tell your mates about it that you picked up on Tinder. <laughs> Double bag. That's all ready for the hot spring. Right, now how's lunch going? Oh yeah, a little bit sticky. Oh dear, the pan would have been worse. Green stuff on there. Right here it says, just assuming I'm in the kitchen. Too much. <laughs> She's crispy as. Definitely burnt the breadcrumbs though. Oh, it's 
gonna be a mean route. This is gonna be bloody good. Oh no way, I can't close it now. How bloody good does that look? Oh. Mm. Wow. Nah, I've got nothing to say. That's just bloody brilliant. Check out that volcano. That baby's gonna cook us some lunch. I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be cool. Now go back up to a hot spring and yeah, cook some trout. Just to give you an idea of how thermal this place is, this is actually another day. A little bit colder today, but you can actually see how thermal it is. Check that out. So the steam coming off, the steam coming off up in the mountains as well. That's that volcano. So you can see this whole area is massively geothermal. And that is what's doing all the cooking. So back at the hot spring, same one I was at the other night. If you want to check out that video, up there somewhere, really cool. Um, didn't know what was up there. I found a nice hot spring. Not real big, boiling water, and that's where we're heading today. We're going to go straight there now and cook some fish. That's the plan. Either chuck it in the water or I'm going to bury, bury it in the sand, dig a hole, bury it in the sand, and let the steam come through and cook it that way. But I'll roll a few clips from yesterday anyway while I'm walking up there, and uh, we'll see you when we start digging. the color so cool that little one there and now I'm not putting my hand in that what are you guys up to hey yeah you can stay there right back at the hot pool it's pretty cool huh we're just going to head up now. I'll just uh, show you the hot spring. There we go. How bloody cool is that? Woo. So I reckon if I dig around here, that looks pretty hot. Probably just as hot as that. Put the fish in there and then put some dirt over it. That's my plan. Oh yeah, that's pretty hot. Yeah, I reckon we'll put it in here. That's probably already good enough. Put it in there like that. Now I'll bury it with some sand. And I reckon that'll do us. So all I've done here, I've got it in a Ziploc flat bag because I don't want to get any of the water in it. I've buried it in hot... Oh yeah man, that sand's even hot. This is going to be good. I reckon I'll probably leave it for an hour though, just to be sure. And um, then we'll unwrap it and see how we go. Might be snacked on. Sweet. So, turns out I was right. Probably about 50 meters up that way. There's a whole heap of mud and stuff. And then it drops into a big ass spring. I had the drone up, sent the drone up for a look. And uh, yeah, sure enough, there it is. So pretty well found the source. And we're using that volcanic power to microwave my dinner. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. Look, I'm, I don't have high hopes. First time I tried this, I'll leave it for an hour. We'll see how it goes, but all that sand was real hot. I imagine it's gonna cook well, so. Fingers crossed, we'll see how that little pouch cooks. But until then, I'm gonna go for a swim and we'll see you guys soon. Ooh, ah, it's hot. <laughs> ah. How bloody good is that? Amazing. Well, I'm gonna wait for my dinner to cook. That's just cooking up over there. And very soon, it'll be dinner time. Sweet. Well, 
been about an hour now. Let's see what the verdict is. Mmm, muddy. Let's go over here. It's warm, it smells like fish. It's nice and dry, apart from the steam that's come out. Oh, check that out. Oh my God. So good. Mm. It's just been cooking in the juice of the tomato and the spring onion. That's fantastic. Woo. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. You have no idea. So that's just cooking in like nature's oven, like right there, or microwave, whatever you want to call it. But that has turned out absolutely fantastic. That was an hour in the sand and uh, wow. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy my meal, get eaten by a few sand flies, but otherwise, that was fantastic. So good to do that again. No worries. Cheers for watching, guys. See you later.